Here's your first alert forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lexi Walker. Just wanted to start with that sunrise of our Cameron University Tower Cam this morning. It is just beautiful. We have the oranges, the reds, some pink starting to filter in, and also the cloud cover this morning. But honestly, it's not a bad start to the day, and we are looking at a 10% chance for rain in the forecast for our northern counties as well as our western counties. But again, it's really not going to amount to much today, and it's all thanks to the cold front moving in. Now, right now, that cold front is still hundreds of miles away. It's near the Texas and Oklahoma panhandle, closer to uh, southern Colorado and southern Kansas, but eventually that front will move in and that's what's going to give us this 10% chance for rain. Let's time it all out though as we look ahead to about 10 o'clock this morning. Still looking at partly cloudy skies. Then by 3 p.m. we start to see some development begin to fire up here, but whatever does fall from the sky is going to be fairly light. Of rainfall amounts also on the lower end. We're not looking at severe weather because of the lack of forcing or even instability within the atmosphere. But by the time we transition to Friday, most of the precipitation will be out of here. Speaking of Friday, let's go ahead and talk about tomorrow as we'll be seeing high temperatures very similar to today, low to mid 90s area wide. But tomorrow we have a 20% chance for precipitation, a little bit higher again, all thanks to that cold front looking to move into Texoma. How is it going to impact your Friday night plans? Well, regardless if we're talking uh, Friday night football or any other events going on this uh, weekend, we are going to be seeing uh, some decent weather for Friday night tomorrow. Game of the week Eisenhower versus MacArthur were kickoff seven o'clock Cameron Stadium 86 degrees falling to 80 degrees by the end of the game plus we'll be seeing those winds gusting to about 20 to 25 miles per hour dry air following that cold front will bring us some cooler conditions and drier air overall as we head into the weekend Saturday will be into the upper 80s by Sunday afternoon we're looking at high temperatures into the low 90s, but with that cooler and drier air mass does mean morning temperatures cooler than what we've been seeing. We've been hovering into the upper 60s and low 70s, and that's currently what many are seeing heading out the door. But look at this by starting Sunday morning. We're talking morning temperatures into the mid and upper 50s. Definitely a little taste of fall, but I will say the bonus forecast is showing off very similar conditions to what uh, is expected from day eight to day 14 compared to day one to day seven.